welcome back everyone okay so in the last tutorial um, I went over sort of basic son map ED editing when it comes to art object editing importing we replaced a, a monitor sonic 3k monitor um, on top of the sonic one and we tested that and it all seemed to be okay in this one I'm trying to I'm going to try and go at least into a bit more in depth um, some map ED um, importing things uh, a little bit bigger um, I'll also be covering things like actually importing uh, bits of level art using some map ED um, little tips and tricks and things that I would recommend you um, to do and things that will help you and maybe possibly some uh, bugs and common things that people um, you know may come across especially if you're a beginner to do with some map ED okay so the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to start doing the the big import we're going to try something a bit bigger okay so we've had you know swapping sonic sprites to sonic 3 the monitor we've changed but what if we have something uh, a little bigger you know um, something a little bit bigger um, maybe something like the sonic 1 title um, well, the Sonic on the Sonic one title, I should say. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open some EPD. I've got my Sonic one fresh disassembly. I've backed up my files, so that's all good. So I'm going to minimise this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the Sonic file. So we're going to load tile graphics. I want to go to the art name folder, and it is title Sun, and in other words, title Sonic. Total Son for short. Yeah, I've backed it up there. So we're going to open that. Okay. Uh, oh, well, okay. It's funny colour here. That it's in bright. Anyway, we'll leave that for now. What we're going to do is going to load the sprite mappings. Like so. And the object is, is actually object OE. Um, that is the object for Sonic on the title screen. So again, I've backed that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that. And here we are. As you can see, it's uh, Sonic in sort of all his glory. Um, yeah, he's not the right colour yet. So we need to load the title screen palette. So what we want to do is go to the palette folder. Like so. And you want to look for title open oh well still not quite right now um, I do believe I mentioned this but in case I didn't um, when it comes to switching palette lines if you press your P the the P uh, key on the keyboard you can switch to the current palette now he's on the second or shall we say well it's zero one two and three in theory it's the second line but in you know in this case it's the first line because you know numbers the, the zero line you know is not the right one so what you what we can do is this just so we can see however this is not what we want if we export this it will come up in this color the the awful reddish bluish color so we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to put it back Keep pressing P to switch through the palette lines. We're going to put them all the way back. And what you need to do is uh, you need to go to settings, top of some FED, tile rendering. Now, what you can do is, is you can actually switch the palette lines through this way, and this will actually change all your tiles to the correct to the correct line of palette line. So when you export it, it comes out exactly how you see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to palette line 2. And there we are. All the tiles are what they should be. And so is Sonic. So if you export this and then import this, this is what you'll get. Uh, I don't know how many times I've had problems at the beginning where um, I've just pressed the P and I thought, oh, okay, all I need to do is just, you know, export this. It come up with a funny colour. No worries. I'll import a new Sonic over it, import it in, and it just, you know, didn't work. It came up all wrong palette line and screwed up this and that um, but what you actually need to do is you need to go to settings and yeah just render starting with palette line 2 
Now, uh, what we're actually going to do, I'm just going to save this to backup 2. I'm going to be using the backups quite a lot. And um, what we're actually going to do, something simple, we are actually going to replace him with none other than Sonic 2's um, Total Sonic. Um, like this, I'll just quickly show you. I do have a sprite sheet. This Sonic from Sonic 2. We're not going to import Tails, of course. Um, now, what you can do is you can do what I just did there, and you can get a mystic again the Mystical Forest Zone. Great uh, website for all sprites and different things that really relate to Sonic. Um, you can do it that way and rip it that way or which might be easier is if you go to some FED, um what you will need is the Sonic 2 disassembly which you can get from uh, Sonic Retro again like the Sonic 1 split disassembly I will most likely put a link in the description for you guys um, and once you've done that and you have split the ROM like you would do like the Sonic 1 one what you can do is if I uh, find where mine is, here we are. Yeah, but what I can do is can go into the art file, go to Nemesis, which is basically this folder's art nem. It's the same thing. This is Nemes Nemesis compressed art, and we want to look for well, pretty much the equivalent to uh, Title Son, which, if we look carefully, is Sonic and Tails from the title screen. They're both on this. They're both on this. Um, but that's fine. So we're going to open that. And then what we want to do is we want to look for the mappings again. And again it is um, Object OE I believe. So we want to go to Object OE. Now the first thing we need to do is because it's Sonic 2, change the, change the game format to Sonic 2. A thing to note, if you're loading, let's say, if you're if you wanting to say load Sonic 2 mappings over to Sonic 1, you have to first um, open the mappings in the correct format and then convert them over by switching to Sonic 1. Otherwise, they will not show up. Say, for example, if I were to load the mappings and this was still on Sonic 1, the mappings would not turn up because it's the wrong format. It doesn't understand it, basically. So now we've done that, we can go ahead and go to Sprite Mappings. And the Sprite Mappings, when it comes to Sonic 2, are all in like bin format uh, rather than uh, ASM assembly, which is basically the programming language for everything, all the code and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit different if you're going to be hacking Sonic 2. But I won't be really going into Sonic 2. Um, I may do later on down the road, but I'm not as familiar with Sonic 2. I know bits and bobs, but I've only hacked it bits and bobs like the level design and stuff, but I haven't really gone too much into it. I've, I've done things like Port Super Sonic and whatnot, but um, I haven't really gone too much into the code. Anyway, we want to go to Object OE again. There we are. There's uh, Tails, and there's Sonic. Ugh. Anyway, so, yep, again, we don't want that palette, so what we want to do is we want to find Sonic's palette. Yes, we do. Uh, we'll go to Art, Palette. Let's look for Sonic. Where is he? Where is old Sonic? Total screen, total Sonic. There we are. Now, Tails actually has a separate palette, which is uh, interesting. But anyway... Yes, yeah, so here we are. Now, what I what I pretty much did in the backup is um, I exported this as it is. Uh, I went to well. What you can do is uh, go to game format like so, and then export, and then uh, save it wherever you want. Now, I've already done this, so I don't need to do that. Um, so anyway, in this tutorial, we are going to port this Sonic over. I'm going to try and keep it similar. The animations is probably just going to be the same because we're not going to dwell into ASM at the moment. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. That's pretty much what it is. So it's not going to be exactly the same, but you're going to get the idea, and it's going to be ported. You know how how it pretty much you'd expect it to be ported over. Anyway, so yeah, what you want to do is export all these file, all the Sonic heads here by doing here. Save to image, export sprite. Save them anywhere you like. Okay, so close this. And then what you can do is, just to make sure everything's okay, we want to go to paint. 
Um, you don't have to use paint, but I just feel like it's just it's easier for me for simple stuff, so I tend to use paint. Um, I know some people like to use like um, Photoshop's and whatnot, but I, I do that for a few other things, like maybe Sony D2 for uh, level art files, backgrounds and whatnot. Um, but for this, I use paint, so I'm going to the wrong file. There's some EPD, my sprites, and I believe. I've already, I should have already exported these down here. Here we are. So let's say, for example, I've uh, got this one here. Now, these little blocks here, the ones that are pink indicate there's no, you know, there need to be no tiles there. Um, so that's a good indicator to say, okay, if you want to save tiles, you only need to make this up and you don't need to move that up. That up, I should say. But anyway, this is pretty much what I've done for this here. Um, so this is, I believe, pretty much how, uh, pretty much how I left it like this. Um, I can, I could actually, um, in theory, if I wanted, I could export it like so, and then just, you know, da -da -da -da. But I'm gonna leave it like that for now, so that's fine. So anyway, yeah, I choose a bright background just to help distinguish, you know, distinguish everything. Um, and we don't really need to change the palette and sometimes in some cases you need to change the palette for Sonic because you know this is Sonic 2 and this is Sonic 1 but in this case we don't really need to um, so anyway we want to go ahead and import this so let's go and find our file uh, some EPD, some sprites like so uh, no no gone too far go back up okay should be fine oh that's not what I wanted cannot import an 8072 image onto a 7288 yes now I may have or may have not have gone over this but um you know if the size doesn't fit the size doesn't fit um, but what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to move some tiles and get it to the right size that we want now, in most sort of in most starts, um, Sonic One, Sonic. There's actually less tiles for Sonic in this one, most likely because they wanted to fit tiles in there, so that's why there's not that much tiles as there is in as there is in Sonic One to compare to Sonic Two. But so yeah, as a new sort of device. Anyway, yeah. So pretty much, um, what we need to do is start rearranging. So we're trying to import an 8072 image onto a 7288. Now you can make this bigger and you can try and make this to a 7288. But there's no need. There is no need. Remember, all we're replacing these tiles so we don't worry about any of this. And we'll have tiles left over because like I say, less tiles and everything. So what we need to do, we need to start arranging. So remember now, so this is 8072, this is 7288. Basically this is taller this way and this is, you know, this way is um longer so you want to close this like uh, so it's 8072 7288 okay so what we can do is is we uh, press the the uh, the colon and the comma comma keys next to the hashtag or hashtag or a hash key I should say and we can say, uh, I don't know, delete this. We're pressing delete and delete that. Okay, so, and then what we'll do is I'll scroll to this one and scroll to this one. So, basically, this is all what we've selected. This isn't selected. So, what we can do is we can click on the tile here and let's say, oh, we don't know. Let's do this. Okay. Now if you want, like I said, you can just like remove all the sprites, remove all the sprite here and just individually pick these, you know, through like 8x8, 16, 16, 32, 32, etc. Back up, always back up. We want to import. Okay, okay. So we've got two problems here. First, all we do is change this background to a background we can see. Oh dear, we're missing some tiles. Okay, and he he's green. Okay, quick edit there. I'm not sure um, 
how much was imported there. Um, so, uh, yeah, basically, um, from what I did say, um, was one of the common problems was when you're importing something um, and it thinks that some things are transparent, etc., etc., and it's like, well, well, no, no, I want the orange to be the transparent color, you know, that's that's not right. Now, depending on what palette line you're using, it will change. Because I'm using palette line 2, this was black thought it was transparent so you can change it to green yellow orange whatever you want and then obviously you just find your sprite load import sort two titles mine and that's what you get that's basically what I've gotten from this this is what I've gotten um so yeah make sure make sure to keep the sprite away from like close to the edge otherwise it will think that Sonic's nose or face is the background um, and then obviously choose a colour like orange, pink, something. Um, you know, not like the same as uh, the colours that are on, you know, the sprite, etc. Um, and make sure everything is that colour. You know, everything you want to be the transparent, make sure everything's that colour. Um, and then, you know, pretty much like we did in the, for the Sonic 3 uh, monitor, um, we just import it. It's just a little bit bigger. Obviously, we've already got the bits, the bits here. Now, how I did it from the rest, um, 